at the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to achieve this. You just put a username and a password. Yeah, whatever. Click login. Send you an error message because you're not logged in. So you registrate. Then if you try to log in, it will notice that, whoa, you're registered, so you can log in. Welcome. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to make a functional login register, ba uh, a basic login register app using the Back for Apps Parse API. So first, what you want to do is click the main dot storyboard and the uh, in, in the apps directory here in Xcode uh, and start adding stuff for your login view. So first let's add a username and also a password. These are just basically text so the user will be able to know where he puts the username and the password. Now we'll add two buttons, one for the login and one for the registration. And we'll also add two text fields where the, the user is going to input text. Oh, yeah, that's better. Okay, now what I want to do is start adding stuff to your view controller. You can do that by going back to the main storyboard, main dot storyboard, clicking this double circle thing. It'll pop up uh, a double view, one for the view controller and the other one from the main dot storyboard and we'll start just dragging and dropping stuff to it. We we'll do that by holding control so we'll kind of drag it and we'll drop it here. This one is the username text box. We'll call it username text and this one is the password text box. We'll call it password text. All right. And now what you want to do is add the login function. Remember to change it to an action because it's it's an action because it's like triggered when you press the button. So make sure to do that. Call it login and the other one just call it register. All right. Oh, forgot to add it as a function. All right. And register action that's basically it okay now go to your view controller click click back so the, the view gets bigger the interface gets bigger again and now what I want to do is go to the, the link in the description for the github repository from back for app that has all the the code you need to, to add to your code so do this path I, I just did so you can get to the the view controller from the github repository and start copying some stuff. First let's copy this alert function and oh, paste it on top of both of the functions and now let's, uh, let's get everything that is inside the login function put it inside the your login function and do the same with the register function. Alright, pop in some errors. Let's take a look at what's happening. So it's because we named it username text instead of text username. Just change that password. Oh, text. So for this PF user probably doesn't have yeah I, I forgot to import parse and now just change this up again username text and password text all right yeah this is basically it now the the app is ready to run oh we got an extra bat bracket over here. Curly bracket. Yeah, that's it. The app is now ready to run. Just build it. 
let's wait until it gives us a build succeeded. Okay, the build just succeeded. Thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more Backwraps API tutorial on how to make parse apps.